hey guys welcome to next selenium tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to see how to install a selenium web driver using maven so you may be asking why we have to install our selenium web driver using maven so say for example you're working in a project where 10 people are working together the same project you are uh, one person uh, developing your own module and another person is developing a module too so in that case what will happen uh, so if you are referring your uh, selenium web driver jar files from your local machine and committing the same same changes to your uh, git uh, repository or your svn repository so these jar files might not be there in other persons when they are checking out your latest changes so in that case what will happen they will see all the classes whatever you are you made the changes it will be throwing compilation error right so you may you can see here i have created a normal java uh, project and this is referring from my local machine so if i commit the same uh, jar files to my any repository so if other person the other end if they checking out my latest changes they will see all the classes will be throwing uh, compilation errors so that is the problem when you are going for your manual download your jar and adding to your um, uh, project as a reference uh, libraries right so to resolve this issue we should go for either a gradle project or maven project so let's see today how we can install our selenium web driver using maven project right so to have this we need to have a two uh, prerequisite so one is your java should be installed on your machine second one will be your eclipse or your intellij should support your maven integration right so i have already covered how to install your java and uh, eclipse in my previous video with how to install a selenium web driver so it has all manual steps step by step uh, procedures how to uh, download your java and eclipse and selenium web driver right if, if you have not installed your java and eclipse you may be uh, watch that and uh, install your uh, java and eclipse and you can continue from this video right so let's create a uh, one maven project for that just go for file new and go to other options in the end so over here you can see right uh, different projects you you can see different options right uh, over here so you can see gradle java git je right so these are the different projects you may be creating but uh, we need we have to uh, create a maven so we expand this maven and you can see maven project just click on that click next all right so i want to create a simple project so click next and you can see here new maven project you have to give group id and artifact id this is mandatory so i'm going to give selenium with artifact id will be maven Right. so here name and description will be optional you might not be giving this if, if you need you can give i'm going to give just a uh, selenium maven installation right so here parent project we are not having any parent project here we are we, we are creating a simple project so i'm not giving any other um, uh, values so I'm just click on finish button you can see over here maven project has been created you can see the difference right so in the second project is a normal java project you can see only j but in the above first project you can see m has been added right so if if that is the case it is a maven project you can identify right so if you expand this you can see multiple uh, by default it, it has been created uh, many folders over here java resources and all so main and the test classes and so you can see here this has been automatically created with the default um, JREs system libraries. So whatever the project you might be creating, this will be like default, it will add. And you can see here last one, right? pym.xml, pom.xml. This is page object model.xml, right? You can go in the end and you can see here dependencies. So here dependencies you can manage and dependency hierarchy it will show here if you add dependencies effective poc this is this is not record you don't have to look into this if you go to here right pom.xml file you can see over here what are we have given right group id and artifact id so it is coming right over here we have given name and description as maven installation everything is coming up over here right so this is the file that we should handle so basically maven uh is very helpful in the way of handling your project so there are two different major advantages that maven has so one is like it it is a build tool so if you go for any developer right they might be using this maven project as a building your uh, project like creating a jar file or war file like that they might be creating it using your maven build 
and second one is so maven maven usually uh, very helpful in the way like handling the dependencies like adding your jar files automatically downloading from uh, internet everything it will automatically adds it right so for that we have to add a tag called dependencies right so this is the tag we should add uh, inside the pym.xml so to get your dependencies right we maven dependencies just open your browser and just uh, search maven maven repository so it will it will first link will be maven repository just click on this so it will open your maven repository you can see men repository so you, you can see all other uh, whatever it's available in maven those are available over here all the dependencies so we need to install selenium dependency so in such words just search selenium so the very first option will be like selenium java right so this is the uh, link we should click on just click on the selenium java so under this project you can see all the different versions that selenium supports so if you want to know which version is the latest one just to go to your selenium official site selenium dot click on downloads so go down over here you can see in this table so different uh, language bindings you can see ruby java python so for java we need to install java so the stable version will be 3.141.59 you can see 3.141.59 this is the latest version so this is the most relevant uh, latest version but it is in alpha it's not stable version you can see over here alpha version also they have given over here right so this is, this is alpha version or when it has been updated and this is a stable version when this has been updated so if you want to uh, download manually from uh, java version 314159 so you can click on this download it will automatically downloads if you want to clear uh, download alpha version just click on this alpha download so it will download this alpha version right so in the same way if you go to maven repository you can see all the different versions what it supports right so we wanted to uh, get your uh, latest uh, stable version so just click on this it will it will give you the dependency right so you can see over here all the uh, detailed uh, descriptions what uh, what it has right what is the license from apache what is the category web testing right where where is the repository and used by these many artifacts so everything it will be having and you can see over here different dependencies it is giving it's not only giving the maven dependency it is giving a gradle uh, dependency also if you are using gradle you can take this or other dependencies like this sbt iv grape so everything it is giving so we want to, to have maven dependency right so we we have to take this so just copy this and just come over here under this two dependencies tag just paste it right it is not it save so you can see the difference over here in the left side menu right we, here we can see only jre system library once you save this it will start downloading the uh, your uh, selenium web driver jar files right let us see the difference so i have not yet saved i'm just going to save this save you can see it is a building workspace and once it is done your uh, one more like uh, your dependency will be created like this reference library maven dependency Right. still it is a building workspace it will like it will take little time right so meanwhile you can uh, just export this like a group id right so it is coming from org.selenium.hq.selenium uh, and um, the artifact id will be selenium java right so this is the actually you can see right the version so here in dependency right the, the group id artifact ready version or all these three are mandatory actually so it is building still it takes a little time to download yeah it is done now all uh, right so you can see over here maven dependencies so this is how this maven project advantage uh, comes into picture so whenever you give this right uh, so it will automatically download it can see over you expand this it will automatically you can see that it is downloaded all the related uh, jars for selenium right it is automatically downloaded everything right so in this case so if you are committing these changes to your uh, 
uh, git repository or svn right so what will happen the only this code will be going not the maven dependency whatever it is downloaded right so whenever your colleagues right on the other hand if they are uh, going to your taking your latest changes right if they are taking right they it will again download on their machine also right so in that case what will happen it will download and in their machine it will save so in that case what will happen so the dependencies you don't have to manually handle it so maven will taken care of that right so this is how you can uh, download and start working with your uh, maven uh, dependencies for selenium installation so you can go for it anything like you can uh, create any class that i'm going to give first maven project first maven project i'm going to have wide main so your class has been created let us try to create uh, uh, any project over here uh, like web driver let's open the browser web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver so to use chrome driver you can see over here right so maven uh, all the selenium web driver uh, related jar files has been downloaded so you can see it is not giving any error over here for this it is automatically taking uh, importing that and if you want to if it's not imported you can just manually import it that's all so this is the major and beneficiary for your uh, project and if you are working with multiple persons and uh, so this is this is how you can manage your uh, maven dependencies or your jar files or anything this is the this this is one of the great advantage when when you are going for maven or gradle uh, projects right so let us create this uh, so we just have to have a chrome driver to be installed so i have already covered uh, many videos uh, right on this who, who, why we need this system dot set property and how we can uh, open the chrome browser or another other browser and are working with your uh, application right so you can just watch it watch out my other videos you will get a detailed explanation what each line means like what is set property what is chrome driver meaning why we have to assign this to web driver why we have to use get method so everything i have covered in my previous video so if you have not watched it just go go over all the videos you will get complete idea what is web driver and why we have to use each and every line right so let us have this uh, selenium.dev website let's launch this and let us close driver dot close right let's launch and try yeah it is open the browser opening selenium.dev and closed it right so that's it that is it from this video guys so if you want if you love watching my videos click uh, uh, like my video and if you have any doubts on clarification please leave in the comments please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you